Hello, this is Mr. Buffington from Simplify Academy, and we are looking at long division. This is a skill that you will need to know for the future, so pay close attention, try it out, make sure to practice. And I am speaking of practice, I am going to practice my art skills by drawing some faces like you see on the board here. I know it's not art class, but hey, it's fun. So we are going to look at long division and then we're going to do some practice. Then we're going to do some more long division and some more practice. That's about it for today. Quick recap on long division. First of all, when you see a fraction like this, 24 divided by 2, it means division. So I will write them in the fraction form most of the time and then sometimes convert them into using the division symbol. I prefer to write them in fraction form. Fractions mean division, and I know it's something you're going to see in your future. So that means 24 divided by 2. It can also be written in this way when we're setting it up for long division, 24 divided by 2. This is basically saying how many groups of 2 are there in, in our first digit, 2. Right Out of 24, there's the first digit 2, the second digit 4. How many groups of 2 are there in 2? And that's going to go right here. There's one group of 2 inside of 2. Then we multiply 1 times 2 and put the answer here. 1 times 2 is 2. We are now going to subtract. That's the next step for long division. 2 minus 2 equals 0. Then we bring this number down, and then we basically start over again. We ask ourselves how many groups of 2 are there in 4. Well, there's, and we put the answer up there, there's two groups of 2 inside of 4, or two twos inside of 4. Then we will multiply 2 times 2, which gives us 4. It's not 2 times 0. Bing, fixed. 2 times 2. And that answer is going to go right down here. 2 times 2 is 4. We subtract and get 0. Once the answer is at a 0, we are finished with our long division. The solution is right here. That's the answer up top, 12. So we could then say 24 divided by 2 is equal to 12. I wanted to show you this example, and I know it was a little bit lengthy with a lot of little arrows. Um, and one typo, but this is a good example of long division, and we're going to use that with some larger numbers. Before we get into that, I do want to say sometimes you won't get a nice even answer up top. You won't get a 12 up there. Sometimes you'll have division with a remainder, and if that's the case, then it would look like this. We'll have 37 divided by 3. We're going to follow all the same steps. How many groups of 3 inside of 3? 1. 1 times 3 gives us 3. Then we subtract to get 0. We'll bring that 7 down and ask ourselves how many groups of 3 inside of 7. That's going to go there. There's two groups of 3 inside of 7. We multiply the 3 times 2 to get 6. And when we subtract, we end up with a 1. That 1 is left over. So basically what that's saying to you is 37 divided into groups of 3 means that we will have 12 even groups and 1 left over. That is your full answer, 12 remainder 1. So if you've seen long division with a remainder, this is a familiar um, recap for you, a bit of a review. If you've never seen it before, that's what it looks like. And we are going to now do long division with larger numbers. That's what the main focus of this lesson will be. Now, that is a big number. But as this little drawing likes to remind us, we will take it in small bites. And, and that's a good basic idea when you're dealing with larger numbers is to think about it in smaller terms. So we'll write it out like this and solve it just like we did before. But we want to take it in small bites. So we first start out, how many groups of 32 are there inside of 1? Well, there's none. 32 is bigger than 1, so we have to go over to the next digit. 17. How many groups of 32 inside of 17? 
Again, 32 is larger than 17, so we can't do that. So we have to, in the initial step, start out by asking how many groups of 32 there are inside of 172. And while that seems like a really big small bite, we could round it to help us think about it. How many groups of 30 are there inside of 170? Right, that might help us out a little bit. Or we could say, how many groups of 3 are there inside of 17? Again, kind of shrinking it down to make it a little bit easier. I'm going to say there are 5. And I will now multiply 5 times 32 to get 160. This number here is important. If that number is bigger than 72, we know that the number we guessed, the 5 up top, would be too big. If that number is really small, so that when you do the subtraction, your answer is actually more than 32 left over there, then you know the answer was too little and then you can adjust. But five is correct for this. It seems to have given us a nice um, little amount. We'll bring the eight down there. Then we ask ourselves, how many times does 32 go into 128? And that is four. Oh, it's a nice and even answer. Thank you, Mr. Buffington, for giving a nice even question. And that's how we would solve this question. 1,728 divided by 32 is equal to 54. And we're going to now practice with this. I'm going to give you questions and give you some encouragement with some of my artwork. You've got this. We'll set it up and then you can go ahead and pause the video and try and solve it. Then I will show you all of the steps that I go through to solve it and we can keep going like that. So pause the video, try this one out. Go. Did you try it out? Are you just keeping on watching? I hope not. Let's look through this. How many groups of 27 are inside of 183? That's how far we have to go. And there are six. We multiply and get 162 and then we'll subtract. It gives us 21. Again, when we have that number 21, we know that, that's, that we've done the first step correct because that number is less than 21, right? Or less than 27, I'm sorry. We, we need that subtracted number to be less than the number that's outside of the division symbol. Let's bring that 6 down. Whoops, that 6 will appear eventually. Um, there we are. <laughs> um, so we bring the 6 down and then we multiply 8 times 27 to get 216. We'll subtract and get a 0 at the end. This is a question that it worked out nice and evenly, 1,836 divided by 27 does give us 68. Now, you might have done this before. You're in sixth grade. Maybe you're like, this is easy stuff. Well, we are going bigger um, because the sixth grade standards have us dividing larger numbers. So let's go ahead and give us a couple of larger numbers. This one here is 4,009 divided by 19. Same exact steps, just a little bit of a bigger number. So let's try it out. With this one, we actually have a couple more steps because 19 goes into 40 two times. We'll multiply. 19 times 2 is 38. Subtract, bring down the 0. How many times um, does 19 go into 20? one time, one times 19 is 19, and then we're going to subtract, gives us one, we bring that one down, and then there's another one, which leaves us with zero. The reason this one was a little more complex, other than the fact that my animation timing was a little bit off, was that you noticed there are three numbers on the top there. So we had to do three separate steps, the two, the one, and the one. So the numbers were still four digit divided by two digit, but our answer is going to be three digits long. Again, we are in sixth grade, so we are going to take it to the next level. I want you to try this one on your own. This is a uh, go big or go home question. 7,936 divided by 64. Um, this question's not so tough. You've got it. Look at that encouraging little guy down there. Go ahead and try that one out. 
pause the video, try it out, come back for the full solution. Welcome back to our full solution. I'm going to go through this pretty quick. There is one group of 64 inside of 79. So I'm going to put 64 down there and subtract. I'm going to bring that number down and then ask myself how many groups of 64 are there inside of 153. Well, there's two of those. When we multiply, I get 128. I'm going to subtract again, giving me 25. Bring that 6 down. And then I say, how many groups of 64 are inside of 256? Four of them, because 4 times 64 is 256, and that leaves us with our final answer. There we go. Wow. I hope I'm not going too quickly for this. Again, with more sample questions um, inside of the worksheet, um, I will go through those sample questions a little bit more slowly as well as we work through. So if you are struggling and saying this is going kind of fast, you can pause it and kind of go step by step and then look at the worksheet that will have more sample questions and more examples. And I will be actually working them out by hand as I go through. So that one might be a little bit more, more quick. All right. Are you kidding me? Five digits, 72,200 divided by 58. Wow, that one's kind of crazy. We're going to set that one up like we have the previous ones and again, take it step by step, bite-sized pieces. We might run out of space, but we are going to solve this one. Let's do it. How many groups of 58 inside of 72? One. And we'll multiply one times 58 subtract and that leaves us with 14. We'll bring that two down and ask ourselves how many groups of 58 are there inside of 142. Now the way that I do this is that I do a lot of rounding where I'll say how many groups of 60 are there inside of 140. Um, that's the way that I would look at it because I know 60 times 2 is, is 120. So I'm going to go right around there. 2. And then I multiply it. I actually do the actual multiplication 58 times 2. And then I subtract. And when I do the subtraction, that tells me if I've, if I've picked the right number up top. Because that number 26 needs to be less than the number outside the division symbol. So 26 is less than 58. So I'm in good shape. All right. Let's bring that one down. How many groups of 58 inside of 261? Well, there's four of them. We will subtract here and get 29. We'll bring that zero down. How many groups of 58 inside of 290? That would be five. And it gives us exactly 290. And we have a zero and we didn't run out of space. We are lucky. Very, very lucky. All right. And now for our final question. This number 157,115 divided by 67 is the largest number that will be required of you in sixth grade is doing a six digit number divided by a two digit number. That's the, the standard for sixth grade requires that you're able to do that. So we're going to do it inside this course and you've got it. Look at that little kid encouraging you. All right, let's do this. It might take a little bit more time and it might take up a little bit more space, but I know you can do this. Try it out. Pause the video, try this one out, then come back and I'll go through the steps for it. All right, here we go. Two is our first number. We multiply, subtract, bring that number down. How many groups of 67 inside of 231? Oh, I'm going to say three of them. And then we multiply, subtract, bring that number down. How many groups of 67 inside of 301? Four, I would think. Four. Yeah, that looks good. And then we'll multiply, subtract, bring that number down. How many groups of 67 inside of 335? Well, five. Five times 67 is 335. We subtract and we get zero. I told you, you can do it. So our answer is 2,345 or 2,345, just because I like numbers that work out that way. 
There we go. Again, this is the largest division question that you're expected to do inside of sixth grade. So if you're not comfortable with it yet, definitely use the worksheet to practice your way up to this. I'll have a video recording for the worksheet showing you step by step how to do it. Things to remember, steps for long division are important. You will see them again and bigger numbers are just a distraction. Just keep following the steps little by little take bite-sized pieces and you'll be fine it's very repetitive so if you know how to do it you can do it with bigger numbers and bigger numbers and bigger numbers i know you've got this i hope that lesson was helpful for you have a wonderful day